Hello guys and welcome to a video about how you're going to be able to record Logic or Pro Tools um, or any door really but in this context we're using Logic alongside your voice and so that everyone can hear the session that you are talking about in terms of playback. Um, there is paid for versions, um, there's something called ScreenFlow 5 which is about 149 bucks. It is a video editor um, and but it installs the the kind of ability to do this natively so you'll be able to record a microphone as a separate source to the computer so if you think you're going to go down that route and you think you're going to make videos it makes sense to maybe get that software and really kind of get involved in it but there are free versions we can use straight on the mac which don't require any money it's just a little bit of a setup process so we're going to be using quicktime and uh, on a mac now you can go command shift m5 and you will get this window pop up I am in the middle of recording a video, so unfortunately I can't press stop uh, recording. I can't show you the options properly, but I have got a screenshot in the background here which is demoing it for me. So once you have done the Command Shift and 5 shortcut, this bar will come up. As long as you have chosen to record the entire screen, and in the options under your microphone, you're going to be choosing Soundflower to channel once we have installed Soundflower. So, if you Google and download Soundflower for Mac, it is from a company called Softonic. It is free forever. Um, you'll just Google it, you'll find it, but I will put the link in this description. You'll download it for the Mac, you've got to put your password in, you will need to restart your Mac. So get that installed guys and then come back to this video and we'll crack on with the next part about how you set this up. So once you've installed it guys, you're gonna to need to press command and space. And we need to open the audio MIDI setup, which is again, part of an Apple computer. Once you've opened that window, you're gonna be creating what is called a new multi-output device. Now what a new multi-output device does is it enables you to take one, two, three, four, ten different input and output output devices and basically put them into one um, device. So there's something like Logic or Photoshop or Pro Tools can basically um, um, uh, make use of many inputs and many outputs together. So once you've created that, it will come up like this and you can choose as many of the things as you want to. I personally am going to delete this one because I've already created one which I've called the University of Northampton. Um, in my case, I've included Soundflower, the two channel, which is what's listening to Logic, and H6, which is my interface with my microphone connected to it. So that's the only two things that I need selected for this, um, for this application. So it's literally a case of command and spacebar, audio MIDI setup, click this plus button, create a new multi-output device, choose your microphone, which might be like an Audio-Technica USB mic, it might be a built-in microphone on the MacBook, and choose your, um, your Soundflower plugin. And that way we're gonna be able to record two sources at the same time. Once you are in Logic, um, if you go up to Logic Pro and you go to Preferences and then Audio, you need to make sure that your input is the device which is going to be recording your microphone. Again, in my case, it's the H6 Handy Recorder. And you need to make sure that your output device is your aggregate, which we've called the University of Northampton. From that point on, all you've got to do is create a new audio track, set your input accordingly, um, and then make sure that you are both recording and you've got input enabled on. I personally, or input monitoring we should say, I personally would go into record and make sure that auto input monitoring is turned on and that way you don't get into this problem uh, should it not be. So right now if I play the session you won't be able to hear me. As soon as we come out the session I come back. If the only way that that you're going to be able to hear me alongside the session is if I actually record. So if I record this, you should now be able to hear me alongside the session as if we're recording a singer or a player. You will just need to adjust your volume levels accordingly. Um, but yeah, if you're not if you're not recording and you're just playing. You will lose the ability to hear. Um, so I hope that was useful. Um, any questions do give me a shout. If we have a problem with Soundflower, we can call something. We can use something called Black Hole. Um, and outside of that, we we can come to some other types of uh, solutions. So uh, yeah, I hope that's useful, and I look forward to hearing what you guys have been up to soon. Take care. Bye bye.